Right, I'm back. <laughs> Just got done with that. I didn't know how long I'd be in there, and I was in and out in no time. And uh, yeah, got the part. And you end up being uh, gotta get up here where I can see a little better. I hate the way they got this curve. You can't really tell what side of the road the cars are on sometimes. Or this little ditch right here looks like a pond. I wish I could have showed y'all. That was amazing. It looks like you can just go fishing in it. But uh, I did pick up the part. Uh, I'm able to get it. And uh, right there is the part number if you need to know it. And uh, yeah, both of them are in but one box. I had them check it before I bought it. So, uh, what I was stressing over, not having enough money for it, ended up being $2.24, tax and all. And this does come with a warranty. Uh, I guess I can remember how much the, uh, how long the warranty was. It was a long one though. I was really impressed when I was looking at it, but I uh, didn't see no reviews on it. So, uh, I might be the first one to give a review. I just uh, wish I found out about this sooner. I know the weather has really, really held me off on being able to get any of this done. But uh, what I thought was going to hold me up for another week, I'm able to have the parts. So uh, got all the parts uh, already, and got it right here in my uh, pocket. So now I can finally, finally finish up putting these brakes together. Then uh, the only thing I'll like after that will be uh, finish up the exhaust. I uh, do need to do the power steering lines well. I got both the high pressure and the low pressure. It looks to me like uh, I may have to take where the old line hooks up to the uh, steering box. I may have to actually break the line where I put a socket on there and break those free. Uh, then putting the new lines on shouldn't be that hard. Which the return line... Uh, is for the 78 C10. It's got the holes and then it just clamps onto the uh, return line onto the other one. So that'll work. Uh, and the other line is for the Silverado power steering pump that's supposed to, with the part number, uh, also hook up to the factory steering box on the C10. I've never been able to try that part out because the uh, I never could undo the power steering line. And it's at that time, I thought I'd be able to use the original return line when the line itself was uh, dry rotted. And since I need to replace that hose, uh, the metal part that comes off the, the return line where it goes into the uh, steering box that part got bent up where I was putting the uh, motor in and I was having to adjust it wiggle it around to get it into place so I uh, need to replace that now it took me forever to actually get it because every time I order parts I would forget and I want to give a big shout out to uh, the one that's doing the 80 K10 say 80 LS swap K10 or that's what his uh, channel's name is I don't know exactly what he goes by but big shout out to him because he's uh, the one I got the part number from able to go straight to uh, Napa and get it and uh, I mean I still probably have a few small stuff I'll need to get later on but I got everything I need to finish the truck and have it where it's drivable. I 
I do think I'm going to get need to get some adapters for the uh, cold air intake to uh, better fit the cold, uh, the uh, massive air flyer sensor to the air intake itself. I will know more about that when I finally get my power steering done and I put it on there. But uh, yeah, now fish the brakes then I gotta bleed the brake my goal was originally to uh, finish the passenger side bleed it then do the other side bleed it and then flush the system at least the rear section then I can worry about the front one uh, at a later date things is uh, might end up having to be done a little bit different since I found out that uh, the father's one is on the driver's side. That is really weird, which I want. I'll recheck the uh, lines, the way they run, to make sure that is exactly the case. But this, this is the first one I've ever found out that the, you got to go with the driver's side first and then the passenger side. And hopefully, my compressor is still to, up to get working good. I haven't hooked it up and turned on. It's just a little bit small one. Which I uh, want to get a bigger one because uh, when I use it to go with the vacuum bleeding oil bleeder, uh, brake bleeder that I got, it uh, only does a small amount before it runs to slap out of air. So I want to get a bigger one to be able to do stuff like that without and uh, be able to use it uh, to actually paint with, which uh, that'll be one step that'll be coming up pretty soon is uh, be able to work on the bodywork on it. And I've got several ideas of what I want to do. Uh, still trying to get the idea of, you know, in my head confirmed and what I want to do. I've seen so many different ways people's done in other cars, trucks, and it's gave me so many wild ideas, and I do mean wild. <laughs> Some may not be practical, and uh, others may be perfect. I want to make 100% sure before I do. I do know, uh, one thing I want to do is, and, uh, You'd have to watch my other video vlogs, which uh, I only think I've touched up on a few. The uh, dash, which is cracked and it's pretty bad. And I've always, even when my daddy had it, I was like, I, I'd love to have a truck just so I can do stuff with it. Because of it being in the shape it is, I can, you know, it's nothing you can hurt <laughs> to, you know, you can only do improvements. I want to modify the dash a whole different shape, but I'm going to use the original dash as a, use it where it can actually mount. So I'm going to modify that dash to look like a different one. I still haven't made it mind if I'm going to take it and add stuff or if I'm going to take, find another dash that's got sort of shape and then merge the two together in one. Still working on that little detail, but I do need to work on the dash where I can uh, put it on there. But I uh, don't think I actually have to have it to be able to actually drive it. I do have the, uh, you know, this panel all hooked up. I do need, and this just reminded me, uh, we'll have to change the oil pressure sensor. Get the, uh, oh, I can't remember what the uh, part is uh, they actually need to get because I got the uh, cheaper one the C uh, if it worked but I'm going to have to get the uh, other brand to uh, get it to work with my gauge that I know 100% that everybody's confirmed that that will work I am going to uh, upgrade to a different kind of gauge later on the other thing I need to work on is my uh, speed sensor. The drive cable uh, one uh, 
It's that kind of strip where it goes into the Turbo 350 and I need to fix that part. Maybe even replace that since it is a strip. Go ahead and just put a new part on that. I'm, uh, I need to start looking into that because uh, it lets uh, the transmission leak a little bit right there. back to uh, the brake parts on the truck I have noticed which I was talking to a friend yesterday about the uh, weather holding me up on all, all this especially on the brakes and I was telling him I'm surprised that all the rain and my truck rear end sitting on uh, the uh, uh, jack stands that it hasn't sunk down into the uh, dirt mud considering there's a lot of sand where I am and I got that well when I was uh, getting ready to work on the brakes and I realized that I need that spring that uh, <laughs> yeah it, the jack stands have sunk into the ground about an inch and a half almost two inches not quite two inches but almost but uh should be still able to put my jack. I got it sitting on my All I gotta do is jack it up, get it up off there, and be able to put the wheels back on. Which uh, the wheels off only on that passenger side, and that's because I didn't have the brakes done. Driver side, uh, still got the wheels. Anyway, I'm gonna stop this video here uh, and get ready to hopefully be able to get those brakes done. Uh, that way, I'll be able to actually move my truck which I, I gotta find those keys so i can move it if not i may have to uh unlock the uh, steering column and uh straight wire it for uh temporarily until i replace everything i will have to look into it and see what i'm gonna have to do anyway don't forget like on comment subscribe uh give me some more ideas of what uh, tips i may be doing wrong on this swap and uh what things i should be doing uh, just in case i'm missing something anyway i'll see y'all in the next video